Oh, that was a bomb. Come on. Oh my goodness. Hey folks, and welcome to Greg's Golf Shack. We're here on the back nine of Pippi Park Admiral's Green. It's really breezy, it's really early in the morning, but it's quiet, it's beautiful, and it's still early season, so let me show you the course. Wow, it is breezy, so sorry if the camera's shaking around. Now, number 10 here plays 351, but there is a hard dog leg to the right. That's the way the wind is going, so I'm gonna try and play a fade around the corner. Uh, some people like to get aggressive and try to drive over all these trees towards the green. I'm gonna play it straight down the fairway with a four wood, just try to give ourselves a nice approach. But this strong wind is going to push the ball to the right no matter what. So I'm hoping it just kind of fades around the corner nicely. And let's see if we can get ourselves in position. All right, it's playing exactly as I hoped. We should have a beautiful approach into the green. All right, we're in good shape here, uh, almost into the rough, but we caught some fairway. It went a little long, came around the corner nice. Uh, this is playing, it says it's 105, playing about 95 with the slope and we're also downwind. Now this is tough, I've got a downhill lie and it's also below my feet. So that's gonna decrease the loft on the club a little bit. I'm actually gonna take a 54 degree wedge and hopefully give ourselves a putt. Landed a little short. Oh, I was hoping it would bounce on. We're gonna have a little chip on. Oh, there's a little fox running around behind the camera back there across the fairway. And I'm glad we came straight into uh, the hole here. They're building a, a water feature over here on the left-hand side of the green, which will kind of detract people from trying to cut the corner with the drive or make it a little bit more uh, daring, I guess you could say. I'm going to use my 54 degree wedge to try and chip this up close. It's an uphill lie and that will kind of increase your loft a little bit. So I'm hoping this will be the right loft and give me a nice roll up towards that pin. Oh boy, that kept rolling. We have a little tester coming up. All right, we're in for our par. Nice number 10. All right, a nice par there. And I met a couple of nice gentlemen who were playing a bit of a speed round before work. And that's the great thing about Pippi Park. Really nice people here on the course, nice staff. It really makes the, uh, the experience enjoyable. So now we're on number 11 here. It's 349 yards from these gold tees. Uh, it's way uphill and the wind is still really pushing hard to the right. So somebody who fades the ball like me and the miss is a slice, uh, kind of dangerous. So I'm gonna try and keep the ball left. I'm gonna tee it down a little bit. My driver's been giving me trouble lately. So hopefully I can close the face a bit and get this in play. All right. I think we're good. I've got 98 to this pin and the wind is still really hard blowing to the right. So I don't really wanna get this up in the air too high. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use a uh, gap wedge and just try one of those half swing, kind of three quarter swings. Try to flight it in there a little bit. I'm gonna play it a little left. Might be ideal. Went a little long, kind of expect that with a lower flight. I was hoping it would kind of hit that front bank a little bit and take some off, but we've got a putt for birdie. Okay, a long putt for birdie here. There's The greens are really starting to grow in nicely, but they're still early season, a little bumpy. Uh, I bet you in a couple of weeks, they'll really grow in nice. I mean, we just started hitting double digit temperatures yesterday. <laughs> Uh, up until then, I mean, two or three days ago, it was three degrees in the morning. Now it's 16 degrees here. So uh, I'm going to try and not be distracted by the beautiful view of St. John's and the Atlantic Ocean and see if we can 
get this within tap-in range. Downhill, uh, down crane a little bit. The grain of the grass is going towards the city there. Uh, so it's going to want to pull to the left as well. So hopefully I can get this within range to tap it in. Yes. <laughs> another par. Okay, another short par four here. Number 12 is 287 yards. Uh, this is a driver's hole. Some big bombers will try to drive this green. I'm not really that long. Uh, looks like the maintenance crew is up there cutting a new hole for us. So I'm going to give them a chance to get finished up. I'm playing pretty good golf, you know, and lately I've been struggling when I've been playing with people out on the course casually. I tend to play my best golf when I'm by myself. I don't know why that is, and I'm not antisocial. I love to play golf with people, but I just uh, enjoy being out uh, alone sometimes playing golf and working on the game. But I also play well when I'm out with buddies that like to talk about golf. They like to talk about the shots and you know the misses and what we'd like to do. And I think when I'm filming here and I'm talking about my shots and I'm kind of uh, talking golf, it improves the game. And when you're out with a foursome and you're just trying to stay on time and you're just stepping up and hitting the ball. Uh, I am a little bit distracted and I find talking about golf, talking about the shots, helps you focus. So let's see if we can focus and hit a nice drive here. Now we're still playing the same direction down the course so the wind is still blowing hard to the right here. But there's lots of room beyond this clump of trees on the right so if my fade or slice happens we should be okay but I'm hoping to try and play this uh, down the left side and see if we can't uh, get it closer to the middle of the fairway. All right, it's playing right. I started, I pushed it a little bit right, and the wind caught it, but we should be just fine over there. Hey, we're in play and we can hit the ball again. And I've actually got 98 yards again, the same as our approach to the last hole. A little bit more uphill, so it might be playing 104, 105. And I'm going to play the same shot I did last time because you know, I have that in my memory and it should work out uh, as far as the distance goes. So I've got a gap wedge and I'm just going to kind of three-quarter half swing it in there. That looks like it landed pretty close to the pin but bounced and rolled away. We'll see what we have. This is a long putt here, 20 feet or so. It might drift a little bit to the left down the slope there, but it doesn't look like much. I'm just on the fringe. I'm putting into the wind, so if you're hearing the wind in the mic. Now the flag is leaning towards me, but I'm going to leave it in so you can see the hole. And if I hit it, we'll, we'll count it as in. But, you know, not a realistic birdie. Hopefully we can get it close. Oh, that was tracking. That was tracking. Okay. We're happy with the par. Wow, this is a windy part of the course. And uh, we have a short par three here, number uh, 13. It's playing about 140 from the golds. I've actually teed it up a little bit for a better uh, camera angle. And this is playing downhill, downwind, so it's going to play about 110 yards. It's so windy the marshal's actually gone around and tied up the flags because they're blowing over. I'm going to take a gap wedge and hopefully just kind of smooth one in there and hopefully hit the green. Looks pretty good. Is it going to be enough? Okay. Quite the uphill putt here. Uh, grain is kind of pushing to the right, so the ball's going to want to go that way. And I feel like the slope might be a little bit this way, so I'm going to play it pretty straight to counteract those two uh, variables. Uh, wind is also coming straight towards the camera, so it might not be as uphill of a putt as I think. 
Again, a tap-in would be nice, but maybe we can get some magic to happen. Come on, Green! Come on! Oh my goodness, I would have loved for that to drop. Great putt. And we have a par. I'm happy with that. Look at that. Inch away. All right, very windy here. I don't know if you can hear me talking or not. And uh, this is a, a tough par three. It says 165 from the golds on the sign, but I scoped the flag at 180. And we're back into the wind. Uh, I think reality is going to hit here and we're going to struggle. So I'm going to hit a three hybrid. That might even come up short. I'm not comfortable hitting a big fairway wood here. I think it could balloon in the wind. Uh, hopefully I can keep this a little low and see what we've got. Well, I sliced that out to the right. That was a terrible shot, but you know, when the wind is blowing hard, it's just like cold weather. I find my swing gets manipulated. It's really tough to find a comfortable swing, swing too hard, all kinds of stuff. So we just battle it out and it becomes a unique experience. So, I mean, you can see I'm short of the green here. It's probably you know, 40 yards or so. And I'm in the rough. I'm gonna take a 54 degree wedge, try to kind of land it onto the green to the right side and hopefully let it release up to the hole. So I'm gonna try and keep this a little bit lower. Oh, it didn't roll out and it didn't break as much as I thought, but I'm happy with that. Give myself a par putt. We've got a good 25 footer left. I'm happy with bogey here. This is like a domed green. so. Even though it's long, it's, it's really tough once you get to the green. You can easily three putt out here. So, I mean, par would be magical, but I'm, I'm happy to walk away with a bogey here. So hopefully we can get this close. That's what we'd like to see. Left with a little tap in. Okay, bogey's okay. Okay, hole 15 here is 395 yards from these gold tees. This isn't really a driver hole for me, especially if I haven't been hitting the driver well, but we're into the wind as well, so this is playing really long. The problem is there's trouble right and there's trouble left. If you hit that trouble, your ball is pretty much gone. So a fairway wood might be the ideal, a shot, but that could uh, land me so short, could be trouble. So I'm going to risk the driver and take our medicine if we need to. Oh yes, the wind is holding it off. We're not very far, but we're good. Okay, we're just on the edge of the rough here. That drive got nowhere and that was a pretty good hit, but we only hit that about 200 yards with that wind. This is playing uphill a little bit. Uh, with the slope, it's playing about 205 left, 208. I mean, this is gonna come up short no matter what, so I've got a fairway wood. There's water all to the left side of the green and short of the green, so playing it out to the right is the safe side. But hopefully I can hit it a little bit straight. So this is my four wood, 16 degree. And knowing it's gonna come up short kind of frees me up to just hit it a little smoother and not try to kill it. Well, I pushed that way to the right. Still having trouble kind of finding that swing, but we're safe. So you can see this big water hazard that's left of the green here, which, you know, makes pushing it out to the right a little bit safe, especially when I thought the wind could pull it over, the rough can snag the hosel and pull the club over, pull the ball over to the left, so we're safe out to the right side. Not a great shot, maybe toey, but dry. All right, we're way out to the right here. 
my uh, cart and my camera is actually sitting on the path and there's tea boxes right there for uh, number 11. So thankfully there's no one on the tea boxes and I'm still theoretically on the whole of play. So uh, we've got, you know, 40 yards or so, 40, 45 yards. Not much green to work with, with that red pin up front. I'm in the rough, so I've got my 60 degree here. I'm gonna open the face slightly, not too much, because I've got to get there. Maybe play it a little bit right of the flag if I can. Oh, that was a sweet shot. It's rolling a little bit long. You expect that out of the rough, but we've got a putt for par on what was a kind of scary hole. All right, I've paced off about 20 feet here. It should break a little bit towards the water there. And the grain of the grass seems to be going that way too. So I'm gonna play a fair bit of break. Again, I'm hoping to get this within tap in range and save a bogey. Boy, how the tables turn with wind direction. Wow, that was really slow. It's kind of into the grain in some areas. These are the testers you don't want to be left with. The grain is going that way, so this should break. Tough to commit to these putts. I'm gonna hit it to the left side. Okay, saved our bogey. Boy, you go from putting for birdie to struggling for bogey. <laughs> All right, number 16 here is 155 yard par three. Now the wind is still really blowing. I can see the flag going. It's kind of into and going to the right. Even though it's only 155 yards uphill, I'm tempted to hit a four hybrid, but I don't want to get it above the tree line. So I'm going to take a five iron and try to keep it a little bit lower and hopefully get it up onto the green. I can feel that wind gusting. Oh, look, it got up and it's going to the right. Yikes. Oh my, that's what we're looking at. It is deep in that stuff. We're right of the green. Boy, that wind takes a toll. Hopefully we can get it up. Okay, you saw the lie. It's on a down slope. It's above my feet into the wind. I've got a 60 degree hoping I can chop it up there. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice shot. Bounced off to the left. Got a putt for par. Okay, it is unlikely we're gonna save this, but again, fine with a bogey. Try and get this close. Man, the wind just came up really hard. That was right on line, so a good putt, but another bogey. Well, we've been scrambling to save bogey on these last few holes, and that's what happens when the wind blows here. It is tough, and you gotta change your game. And uh, this is no different here. This is a 460 yard uh, par five, and number 17 is tough. There's water all down the right side over here, and uh, the wind is directly into us and blowing right to left a little bit too. So we've got to uh, do our best to try and keep this in play. I'm gonna try and hit a bit of a low drive. Oh, that's just what we want. Looked like a nice little low draw, but I actually think that was pretty straight and the wind blew it to the left. All right, I'm staying on this side, hopefully shelter some of the wind in the microphone. But we've got about 130 to the end of the fairway before trouble comes into play. Uh, wind is really gusting up there, so I'm going to play sort of a half swing of a five iron and uh, just get it in play. That should be just perfect. 
upright, we have about 112 here, playing about 120 up that slope. I'm actually going to take a, a half swing 8 iron to try and keep it down out of the wind a bit. Oh, stay there, it's rolling down the hill. And maybe I needed a three quarter swing. Oh well, up and down for par, hopefully. All right, my little half swing there came up short. I'm gonna try and chip this in, maybe. I've got a 60 degree. It's uphill. A little rock here in front of the ball. I'd love to be able to tap this in. The ball is above my feet, and it's an uphill slope, so I'm gonna choke up a little bit, and I'm gonna close down the face tad. Yes, that's actually in the flag is. <laughs> well, it would have been nice to get a birdie there, but we broke the bogey streak with a par. Nice. Number 18 here. The tees are pushed all the way back. It says 448 on the sign. You can see we got big valley going down and then uphill all the way to the clubhouse. And this is the point where finally feel like maybe I'm finding my swing. I mean, it's tough to come out early in the morning with no practice and wind and everything. So the swing might have been a little bit ugly in this video, but we're playing golf and that's the best thing. We, some of us have a different swing every single day, but especially if you've been struggling with the driver, nice to get to 18 here when you've got all kinds of room there. It's kind of tough to, to lose a ball, but not impossible. So I'm gonna tee it high and let it fly and see if we can finish in style. Good drive. Staying just left of that bunker. Oh yes. Oh, that was a bomb. Middle of the fairway. Why does it always come together on the 18th hole? <laughs> I love this game. Okay, we're on the right side of the fairway here and we've got a long way in. It actually looked a lot better off the tee and that's the, uh, that's the funny thing with these courses that have a whole lot of hilly slopes and uh, different terrain. Um, I don't have to be aggressive and hit a forward here. I don't think it's going to get there. Going uphill, the wind is still sort of hurting. It's kind of coming into us from this direction. But I'd like to get it close and hopefully chip or have a short pitch in. So I'm going to take my forward. See if I can avoid hitting it off the toe. Ooh, that wind is blowing hard. Let's see what happens. All right, I slipped a bit, and that is just hanging out to the left. Wow, got held up in the wind quite short, but we've got a good angle into the green. We've got a nice approach here. The pin is just to the uh, left side of the balcony of the clubhouse there, kind of the back middle of the green. At least that's what it looks like from here. Playing about 75 yards. Wind is hard from right to left. I don't want to get it too high. Like I don't want a really high lob in there. I'm going to take a 54 degree wedge. Play it smoothly to the right of the pin and see if the wind brings it back a little bit. All we want to do is be able to putt. So let's put this up there. Well, I did get it high. All right, rolled over the ridge. I'm not sure what we've got left, but it worked out. Well, this is nice. We ended up about pin high. Two, four, six, eight. We have about eight or nine feet for a birdie. Wouldn't it be nice to close off in style? Uh, and let's see what we can do. It might break a little bit to the right because of the wind, because of the grain. The slope isn't really going that way. I'm just going to play it to the left edge. Oh, we got our par. All right. 
Well, not too bad in these windy conditions. Uh, three over. Uh, this is a par 35, the back nine. And we shot uh, 38, which is uh, pretty good. I haven't been playing that well lately when I've just been out on the course playing. Uh, and you can see it's just about where you miss it. Sometimes you're safe and sometimes you're not. Uh, these are still some early conditions and the crew have been doing fantastic here on the Admiral's Green at Pippi Park, uh, bringing the course to life. And then we finally have some warm temperatures. So in a couple of weeks, this place is gonna be primo. So I hope you enjoyed uh, coming on the journey with me on this early season back nine. And uh, if you like this content, please like and subscribe. And I hope to bring you some more golf soon. We'll see you next time on Greg's Golf Shack. Music